Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lands Challenge Runs in the Binding of Isaac. This run was suggested by erudite young gentleman Drew Chamberlain, and you can tell he's regal. Probably speaks the Queen English. Queen's English, not Queen English. That's like, we will rock you, etc, etc. Uh, this run is called Big Ass Tears, which, you know, aids itself to that hypothesis. Not big tears that come out of your ass that indicate that you have some kind of kidney disease or something. This is just tears that have big asses of their own, I guess. The, these tears are so big they've got their own zip code, and the reason for that because we got Polyphemus, we got Sacred Heart, and we have Chocolate Milk, believe it or not. Uh, which does, if you would believe it, make the tears bigger, although it takes effing forever to charge. We also have Max's Head. Now, in compensation for the fact that we have unbelievably incredibly items here, Young Man Drew Chamberlain, Squire, if you will, has suggested uh, that we don't go to shops and we don't take deals with the devil, which would leave item rooms open. I almost feel like this would make things too easy, but it is his listed conditions. I'm just... I don't know, I'm gonna wing it and basically see what we get in here. Monstro's Tooth, and if we re-roll it, the Bean, well, you know what? That would fit with the big ass part of the big ass tiers. I think maybe we should just go for boss items. Because as is, like, as you can see, we are basically gonna tear through everything nearly instantly. We got an Eternal Heart for that as well. Uh, the downside, of course, is that we need some kind of health and some kind of spacebar item. I don't know where we're gonna get that. We could possibly get it from a boss room. Uh, but I don't think we should go to item rooms. I think that would just make things too easy, especially if we ended up picking up something like a um, What was I going to say like a skinny odd mushroom or sad onion? I'm pretty sure it would just make it impossible to lose So this is a fun run for me Obviously you guys know I like the runs where we get a lot of offensive power and don't have to suffer too much Defensively as a result. I mean who wouldn't offense is the best defense in Isaac in my opinion anyway, would you rather have Book of Revelations and a battery or be able to one-shot everything in the game. I would rather have the ability to one-shot everything in the game. That's just my personal opinion. That's the way Dad did it. That's the way America does it. And it's worked out pretty well so far. But we're going to continue moving on here. I think this is a run where we absolutely uh, have the potential to beat the game. And it's not necessarily a run that I'm doing to discover like some kind of amazing balance. Like, oh, this is the purest way to play Isaac, man. Like, it's more of a run that I'm doing to basically just be like, this is a run where I kind of want to see how big the tiers can go. Uh, and if big tiers like this, if having like three of the best items in the game can carry you through the entirety of the game. I should be using chocolate milk a little bit more. I, to be honest with you, didn't even want to take chocolate milk. We also got a tiers upgrade there, which is awesome. Uh, I didn't even want to take chocolate milk because I think it's a bad item overall. Uh, although I do still take it most of the time when I come across it in the Let's Play. The thing is, like, it just takes forever to charge up. Which makes it more of a liability than it's worth a lot of the time, and it interacts really poorly with a lot of other items. We're almost going to be speedrunning this here. By the way, before you get mad at me, there's always people who get mad about these really offensive challenge runs. Northern Lion, you're going against the spirit of the game by beating the game too quickly, you're giving yourself too many advantages. This is the top comment! It had like 80 thumbs up at the time when I selected it. So far, so good. Of course, it is incredibly easy. Uh, maybe to balance this- oh, come on. Now you're just trying to make things too easy on me. We're going to switch that out for Book of Sin. That seems like a... You know what? We're going to build up another charge. I don't want Book of Sin. It's garbage. Yeah, but uh, I'm at the whim of the audience to a certain extent. Obviously, some of the top comments are just literally impossible to do. Play Binding of Isaac, uh, but only use your dick. Don't use your hands. That's unlikely to happen. Mostly because my dick is so long, I'd have to stand so far away from the screen, I wouldn't be able to see what's happening. And I have 20-20 vision. That's not true. I wear some thick glasses. I got hit for the first time. To see if I still feel. No, we're gonna check out Super And Oh my god! Okay. This is the thing. We got the homing shots. This is not good. Uh, we got the homing shots. It's almost making this fight more difficult to manage. Because it's seriously like tearing through these guys all at once. Which sounds like a great thing. Until you realize that it's gonna crowd the battlefield here. There we go. Starting to wean it out a little bit. I almost think I need a range upgrade to make the Sacred Tears fire further. If that makes any sense. We might get an attack fly here though. What do we get from Super Envy? I always forget. I think I always think it's an attack fly and then it ends up being something else. And I'm like, oh, I really wanted an attack fly. I don't actually really need an attack fly in this situation. Although I guess it doesn't hurt. Come on. There we go. Yep, up. I lost like three or four half hearts here. So one and a half to two hearts. There we go. It is an attack fly. Okay, so clearly I don't know what I'm talking about. We're gonna take this. 
We're gonna go back to the uh, boss room where there is the Book of Sin. Oh, you know why? I for totally forgot. It's because we fought the Fallen. So for it to give us Mom's Knife is not out of the ordinary. Hopefully we can get like a Spirit of the Night or something from this. It's Oh, that was terrible. Uh, it's absolutely worth me getting as many D6 rolls as I can on this. Guppy's Tail? I don't know if we can get another one to be honest with you. We might as well check out. Maybe Krampus is in here. He's not. Well, we could have become Guppy if I wanted to, but or gotten close at least. I guess we're gonna take Guppy's tail and we're gonna be a cat as we proceed here. So far, so good. I mean, I'm not gonna complain about that. It would be awesome to get a skeleton key somehow, uh, although I think it is absolutely 100% unnecessary. But you know, as is, it's okay. I guess we don't really need our keys for anything since all rooms are off limits. So we can use our keys to open golden chests, possibly get stat upgrades there, and maybe it'll actually be a blessing in disguise for me. But in any case, so far so good, we're going to continue moving forwards, basically bum-rushing the boss as soon as we can, so we have maximum D6 charges available to get HP or tiers or range or speed upgrades. Everything else is kind of off the table, like absolutely do not want a pageant boy, crate would be okay. It's a very common item, but it's an item that has a certain usefulness as well, especially since I'm literally running at zero bombs right now. Sadly, there's probably no way to get into that boss trap room, would be my guess. Okay, that was very close. That should be easy. Oh, I really thought one Polyphemus shot on charge would kill him. On charge, of course, the Nathan Drake story. We're gonna make our way down here where we found the item room. Which I almost want to open out of curiosity. I I think my hunch has been confirmed that this run would just be far, far too simple too, too early. Uh, if I had actually used item rooms, so I'm, I'm glad that we have skipped over those, because otherwise, basically, imagine if we'd gotten, like, number one in the first, uh, item room or something. We would have had, like, maximum rate of fire with the largest and most damaging tiers that also home and go through enemies and kill bosses in, like, four hits. It just would have been too simple. Similarly, uh, I, I avoided taking Mom's Knife not out of some kind of condition, but out of the fact that, A, it would totally ruin the tier effects, and B, uh, given the items that we had, it would absolutely take all of the, like, risk out of the game at all. There's still a risk involved in this game. The risk is that I get way too cocky when I play with good offensive items and end up hurting myself more than, uh, helping myself sometimes. But if I'd taken Mom's Knife, it would've been like, oh, there's a boss, he's dead. Oh, there's Blue Baby, he's dead. It would've just been too easy. Like, Knife Polyphemus is huge. Knife Polyphemus Sacred Heart would've been out of control. Not to mention, you know, Max's head and all the other weird stuff we've got going on here. Anyway, we picked up the matchstick from that golden chest. That's a worthwhile trinket. Like I said, I have zero bombs right now. So anything that allows us to get more bombs is awesome. We're going to check out whatever our boss has on store for us for today. Ah, it's going to be this guy who's probably going to die in two hits. If I could actually hit him. There's one. So far, so good. And there's two. That was really, really easy. I could really use, like, a Ouija board. That would be beneficial as well. But instead... We're just going to take an HP upgrade. I think this is very worthwhile. As remember, we're not going to get any of the funkier items in the game. This is like a pure damage and health run, basically. Uh, I'm not going to be getting any wafers or any nun's habits or anything like that to build spirit arts or, you know, whatever. What have you. Uh, so I kind of just have to stack. It's almost like going back to like the purest form of Isaac. You know, when you first played it, you're like, I need to get a lot of damage. And I need to get a lot of health. Whereas now I'm like, I need to get like run my spreadsheets, see if it's better to have uh, the battery or the nine volt if you're using you know Guppy's paw in conjunction with the spirit heart generator. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. It's early over here. It's before noon, which is crazy. Now I just want to hit these guys like one time. One time will be enough for your mind, as Nos knew. Like seriously, I might have to use some bombs to get through this combat. Because, as is, it's a little scary. There we go. Hey, we found the secret room, so at least I can justify that somehow. We got two bombs for it anyway. So it ended up working out okay, even though uh, I put myself in harm's way to a certain extent. Might go to the shop just to buy hearts. Like, that's the thing with these no-shop runs. Is that I think it's always implicit uh, that it's okay to go to the shop, you just can't buy any of the special shop items. Maybe that's just my uh, rationalization for doing some of the things that I do. But, uh, that's like saying, you know, okay, you can't go to the shop because you can buy hearts at the shop. Therefore, you also can't go to the slot machines. Or you also can't go to the fortune tellers. But nobody ever says that, if that makes any sense. Because you're basically paying either way for, for help. Seriously, just thank you. Travel faster. 
Oh, I just walked right into him like a dungo. I did it twice. It's just the shots travel so slowly. Cat of Nine Tails would actually be a surprisingly solid upgrade to get right now. Sadly, we are bereft of that for now and bereft of all of our health. Well, some of our health, I guess, is the correct way to put that. Because we are not, if we are bereft of all of our health, we would be deceased. Why am I talking like an elderly English gentleman? I have no idea. Maybe because it's actually daytime in the United Kingdom. In any case, we are going to continue. I'm absolutely going to open these golden chests because they offer pretty much the only way to get an upgrade that does not require killing a boss in the first place. A little extra money, a few extra bombs, doesn't hurt, uh, but is also not going to be super beneficial. I would love at some point to come across a tinted rock, but apparently those have been rendered extinct in this version of Isaac. Not literally, I'm just being an asshole, basically. Again, actually, this is the one situation where I kind of feel like Cat of Nine Tails would be incredibly beneficial. Because my shots, seriously, like, if, when I try to aim them, and aiming is not really a huge deal, I'm absolutely going to play Judgment, by the way. Thank God I didn't blow them up there. Um, aiming isn't a huge deal because we have Sacred Tears homing, or Sacred Heart homing, that's awesome. Uh, however, it's still kind of a problem because my shots don't get there when I expect them to get there. They get there like two seconds later. So uh, we're not going to get that off this boss fight, obviously, because we're going to get Little Gish instead. But that was terrible. Uh, Cat of Nine Tails is a very, very common upgrade, so it's totally plausible that at some point in the near future, perhaps on the Mom boss fight or the Utero 1 boss fight, we will get that. Floor went reasonably well, even though I took a ton of damage. We're going to take Little Gish, obviously. And you know what? Fuck getting the extra health from the shop if there is it in there. Uh, I'm just gonna go down. Said no shops, I'm gonna play no shops. What can I say? Northern Lion is a man of his word sometimes. Okay, so this guy's gonna be destroyed. We're gonna take a spirit heart for once. Oh, thank you, blessed lord. In your benevolence for giving us an item that normally shows up all the time. It's vastly appreciated, I assure you. Oh, get out of there. Alright, that was a little close. We are absolutely, of course, going to pick up the golden chest. As long as we have keys, we'll be picking up golden chests. Uh, that one absolutely worked out well for us. We picked up an extra bomb. I think we spent a bomb to get it, but we also got a lot of money. Who knows, maybe we'll come across a second Judgment and we can play him. I was almost sad that Judgment paid out so early, because I kind of wanted his consumables. Uh, as opposed to just... Wow, that was a good one, too. Hearts, money, and golden keys. Yeah, I kind of wanted like more keys and more bombs from him. Uh, alas, I can't really complain about getting a cheap HP upgrade. Cost what, like two cents? That is a deal that I can get behind. It's better than this year's summer sale, winter sale, and the steam sale. That's for damn sure. Come on. We have uh, unlimited keys. We could go to the arcade. I'm not sure what we would do there. I guess I would play the blood bank and probably get myself killed. So that seems like a terrible idea. What do we have down here, though? Sometimes when I charge chocolate milk, it oh, come on. It's not my fault those things weren't fast enough to realize they should have been disintegrated. I think those guys are like, I've never seen a, a champion kill a turret in one hit before. Anyway. Uh, we're still doing fine for health. And it keeps getting finer as we do uh, more and more golden chest openings. Zelda style. I really hope that in the remake he puts in like the Zelda music. There's probably no chance that it's gonna happen. There's probably a huge trademark. Like Nintendo's got a patent filed on like those six notes that happen when you open a treasure chest in Zelda. But it'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? And if he held it over his head and he was like, da na na na. It's the best I can do, sorry. I'm not pitch perfect. Uh, we are going to kill this Leaper if he would stop being an asshole. He does like a two centimeter jump and all of a sudden it's impossible to hit him. Oh my god. These are situations where it's great to have uh, an increased rate of fire. As you might ex Oh, come on. You are being a jerk hole. That's what you're doing. There we go, finally. Uh, I, I don't think it's worth a key to get to that regular chest. When I have so many golden chests uh, that, you know, basically are on display or uh, on, on tap for me. Uh, so we're just going to try to... This is harder than it looks, I swear. Uh, because these guys... You have to hit them twice, but I don't fire fast enough to hit them twice with reliability. As you can see, there's a, a couple more down. The homing shots almost feel like a disadvantage here. Just let me aim them freely. Uh, it's a speed upgrade. We'll reroll that, and we'll take... 
will not take Celtic Cross. At some point, I mean, here's the thing. I'm sure Celtic Cross has some valuable uses. I'm pretty sure the first time I got it, I actually, uh, it, it helped me beat the game. I remember, like, titling an episode near the start of the Wrath of the Lamb videos, Celtic Cross, which indicates to me that this was probably important to me at some point. But the invincibility is not that big of a deal compared with, like, just getting a full extra heart container, I think. That's my, uh, opinion on the matter, at least. Being able to one-shot angel fetuses is, is actually, uh, pretty surprising. These guys normally, even if you have, like, mom's knife, sometimes they can take more than one hit, which is crazy. There we go. So we've got another reroll. We're gonna use that on Celtic Cross. How's it gonna work? I don't know. Maybe we're just shooting ourselves in the foot here, but we'll see. Dead Sea Scrolls, also pretty bad, but at some point we've got to get rid of this D6. Although it is valuable in the chest now, we're probably not going to get to the chest, so... I mean, actually, I can't say that we're probably not going to get to the chest. I was more thinking, like, I probably won't have four keys when we get to the chest, because I've been abusing my key situation so far. Well, here's the thing. We're not going to get uh, more rerolls, unless there's, like, an incredible stroke of luck down here. Because we, we can't leave if we get a reroll on the mom boss fight, because we're just trapped in that room forever. Two of clubs is, uh... Oh, super pride. Could we get, like... Bob's Rod and Head here? Is that what... No, we just get pills. I mean, that could be cool. Star's card is an item room. Pill is. Tears down. That's really unfortunate. How about this one? Please be a good one. Balls of Steel. Okay, that's a fair trade, I guess. Uh, we're going to roll with the Two of Clubs. We'll just take that right now and get extra bombs. We're not going to have a reroll. Do we want Dead Sea Scrolls? I think the answer is no. I think the D6 is going to prove more valuable for us immediately. Dead Sea Scrolls, not a horrible item sometimes. Uh, but very rarely... Is it a, a, a game changer, basically? It has the potential to do some good stuff for us, uh, but I prefer items that have some kind of, uh, you know, consistency in their usage. Like, there's no risk for what the item is. Like, sometimes Dead Sea Scrolls can be kamikaze, which can really F you up. Sometimes it can also be Bob's Rod and Head, I think, which totally breaks cheat engines. So there's a lot of reasons why I'm avoiding it here. One more hit is going to be good enough to finish this fight. There we go. That was relatively uneventful. You know what? I'm not going to reroll this. I'm going to take the tears upgrade. Uh, and I'm going to hold on to the hanged man as well. We're going to take the Polaroid, which is obviously necessary. And we're going to go down to the next floor with uh, pretty good chances, I would say. We've got another treasure item to get. We're going to... Oh, curse of the lost. So this means we have a slightly larger floor than usual here. But that's okay. Uh, I think we've got a good chance here. Uh, we, we need probably like another tears upgrade. I'm not sure how beneficial another stat upgrade would be. We have a very good item combination for fighting these final suite of bosses. Uh, we have enough bombs, absolutely, to, to tank Mom's heart. We have, uh, mostly for Blue Baby and Isaac, what I'm thinking is that we have very high damage shots that come in at very low frequency, which keeps them from shooting as much at me. And we have a decent amount of health as well. It's not certainly uh, over the top, but it is okay. So, if I was to give my, you know, TSN analysis right now, uh, for Americans, ESPN analysis for, you know, uh, Brits, the uh, Sky Sports analysis, if you live in South Korea, the NBC analysis, um, I don't even know where I'm going with this anymore, uh, we don't want missing page, uh, I, I think we have a decent chance of success. Obviously, no one would ever hire me as a, an analyst, given that kind of terrible, vague assumption, or, uh, estimation that I just made. We're getting some terrible chests here. I should really probably save some keys for the golden chest later on in the game, because I obviously can't get rid of the Polaroid. So, what's the point? I, in fact, I should probably stop opening some of these chests, or at least getting so close to them, because there's always the chance that we are going to get uh, ticked, basically. More bombs of money. A tears up pill. That's really good. So we've actually, over the last few rooms, we've actually created a net positive with respect to our tears, which is good. Obviously, we're going to avoid that. We do have the Hanged Man, so we could go to it if we wanted to. Ah, uh, that was not worth it at all. I've lost all my Spirit Arts already. And this has not been a particularly difficult floor. It's just been a little a bit of a combination of bad luck and, and poor play on my part. More keys, please. We have money. We have bombs. I get it. I suppose we could just play the slot machines, but uh, where's the fun in that? I don't think that uh, Fortune Teller even pays out in keys. I think it just pays out in Spirit Hearts and Trinkets. And that's risky in our current situation because the tick could totally F us up. Now, uh, we're almost done with this floor. I'm really hoping we almost get like a Spirit of the Night or something or a, 
you know, deal with the Angel Transcendence. Because remember, or Holy Grail will be good too. Remember, the uh, conditions for the run just say no deal with the Devil. And I've held tight with that so far. Although I did go into the deal with the Devil room. To uh, show that I could take the Guppy items. But anyway, that's neither here nor there at this point. We need nothing there. I think I've done a fairly good job of, of sticking true to the conditions of the challenge run. I've actually made things harder on myself by avoiding item rooms. I think that would have made it too easy to take advantage of. And the fact that we're sort of breezing through the womb here should indicate that that is indeed the fact. Anyway, we've got to be getting close. Wow, you actually, you don't even one-shot the angel fetuses. You actually half-shot them. Because if the polyphemus shot goes through, it'll kill another one behind it. That is pretty damn strong. Boss room's got to be close by. This is these situations where I really wish we had a, a nail or a book of revelations that we could use to actually benefit from the fact that I am terrible at finding my way around these floors, apparently. So we're going to go right. There's our boss room, finally. One-shotting Diglets is nothing to sneeze at either. Those guys have a lot of HP. So, just come up this. There we go. We'll take our key, and I'm assuming it's going to be an easy-ish boss fight. Well, I assumed wrong. And Bloat's not having any of this, man. Okay. So we're just going to... I totally forgot that, like, Little Gish has been helping me out this whole time, too. That was a surprisingly lucky dodge. You know what? I am going to use Hangman on this room. You might be saying that's crazy. Uh, but this is going to allow me to not worry so much about the, the creep that Bloat is shooting out. Which is going to make things much easier on me. For a number of reasons. I hate that the homing shots occasionally home in on the eyes. But Bloat is basically dead. Even though I did take a little bit of stupid damage at the end. It all worked out. Uh, do I want the Tears and Spirit Heart upgrades? Honestly, I do. Not just for the Spirit Hearts, but for the Tears as well. Uh, and then we'll go down to the next floor. We have two keys now. It's possible at some point. Uh, could make this... Can we just have Cuba Meat kill this guy? I think we can. It's gonna be tight. Could have had Attack Fly do it too, but let's just do it this way. Uh, at some point, I am gonna use these keys in the chest. Open some golden chests, and then I'll be happy that I still have the D6. I think, anyway. So this is going to be a difficult fight here, but it's going to be over quickly. Just want to kill one first. I mean, that's basically mathematically the only way it could happen. But in doing so, make things way easier on ourselves. We're going to avoid that golden chest. Obviously, I should probably... Whoa, that was a very lucky find to get to that boss room so early. That's awesome. We've got double envies here all the way across the sky. And I just got caught sleeping basically right there. It's okay, though. Try to take out the little guys first. This would have been another great opportunity to use the Hanged Man. There's no question about that. Keep in mind, I mean, at the end of this, we're just fighting Mom's Heart. If I lose some health, it's not the end of the world. It will be rougher on the Cathedral, for sure, to be down to some hearts, but... Man, Envy is, like, seriously the worst thing that we could fight at this point. As we've seen several times throughout this video. Okay. So we're okay. What we might do now, before we fight Mom, is just go back to that arcade. Try to win some hearts from the, uh... Is there, oh, there's still, I didn't even see that guy. Shoop the whoop! We could reroll that. Portable slot machine. I don't really like it. Let's see what we can win here in the shop. I just want to basically get three hearts. I don't want to, I mean, keys are awesome. Sure, I'll take the keys as well. Skatol would be okay. Because Blue Baby creates some flies. Those two keys are going to be very valuable. If we get more keys, there's a golden chest out there I'd love to open. But really, just the hearts is what I desire here. Uh, we could just blow up. The blood bank, that almost always gives some hearts. Of course, it means we can't play the blood bank, uh, but that's okay. There we go. So we only need one more now. This fly is just going to follow us around. It's okay. More keys would be nice. I would I would welcome that. Luckfoot would have been a great pickup at some point in this game, because we are apparently the worst. Oh, another key. And more hearts. Beautiful. So now we can just leave and fight Mom's heart. That worked out really well. Uh, that also worked out pretty well. Picked up another bomb and a ton of money. Not that we need that money really for anything useful. But hey, it was surprising nonetheless. So we could get a reroll back on that portable slot machine at some point. I don't think it's worth our time. That was bad damage for me to take, but that's okay. And I think it's just time for us to start a uh, non-stop pain train on Mom's heart here. I do need to drop bombs in still. But I also want to make sure the polyphemus shots are hitting. Because this is one of those rare situations where the, the polyphemus shots are going to do more damage than the bombs. They just have substantially less crowd control. And obviously I'm on this side because I'm trying to avoid that pill that was created uh, by killing one of those champions earlier. Anyway, Mom's Heart is basically dead here. We lost two health. It's not great considering the items that we had, but it's okay. And I think we should take this pill right now. Bad trip. That was a bad idea. Alright, so we're going up to the cathedral. 
We're gonna be dealing with greed assholes. And of course, the homing shots continue to focus on the neutral flies, which makes things a little difficult. That's alright, though. The attack fly just tore through that guy. Alright. Start the chain reaction, then back it up. We're okay. More hearts, always useful. And I think we, like I said, I think... I'm not gonna say the hard part is over, because we're gonna be dealing with some difficult rooms here. Uh, but to a certain extent, these are gonna be some of the best bosses that we can face. We really need to kill these guys, though. And the neutral flyness is, is making this difficult. Thankfully, we have decent range. But the neutral fly is just blocking, like, every shot. There we go. Only one more. Neutral fly. Neutral fly. There we go. Now, we're missing a heart and a half here. Two and a half hearts. That worries me substantially. But is there any way that we could improve that? Is it worth going to other rooms to fight? Or is it worth just trying to basically tank this guy and beat Blue Baby like so? Or Isaac like so, I should say. If I had known that we would be running across these guys, I absolutely would have skipped this room. So, so far so bad, I would say, on, on this estimation. But the chest contains Goat Hoof, which is meaningless. Fuck it, I say we just try it. I mean, I, I can't foresee it getting any easier as we move along. Uh, to get hearts. We might just get keys, we might get bombs, there's nothing wrong with those. There's not what I need in my current situation. Wow, he still fired uh, more quickly than I thought. I think that's because of Gish, actually. That's okay, we're not doing terribly. Might seem like it. But we're not quite at that position yet. Gish is actually very valuable here. Because by slow- Oh, no! Okay, by slowing his shots, he's gonna make it much easier for me to dodge them. At least when they hit, which is apparently rare. Okay, we're already on third phase. Oh, I walked right into it. Okay, this is fine. Just stand right next to him. Drop some bombs. You got the Polaroid. He's dead. We got the heart. That was, you know, by the skin of our teeth, but we're absolutely going to make it to the chest, and we have a D6 charge available to possibly save our lives here. So first things first, Rosary. That is incredibly important right now. Ten extra bombs. Maybe not so much. Poop. Worthless. Mr. Mega. Here's what I'm thinking. We take Mr. Mega... We don't need the 10 extra bombs. We take the Rosary, because we, the reason I took Mr. Mega is because we might end up using bombs against Blue Baby. Now we're going to reroll these two. We got Halo of Flies, that's really useful. And Spelunker's Helmet, which is not awful, but is unlikely to really be that beneficial. So I'm just going to leave that there in the hopes that we can reroll it later and possibly pick up something even better. But the fact that I have some health from the Rosary now gives me a chance to build back up uh, a little bit here. That's Doctor's Remote, it's not that useful. Uh, but it's probably worth taking in this situation, because we do have to get rid of our D6. And if I had taken Doctor's Remote, I could have just dropped a nuke on one of these guys. Oh, I walked into the AIDS poop. These are the worst enemies. This might be where the, the dream comes to an end. How do I just start dropping fat bombs on him? Oh, he ate one. Yeah, we're just gonna fight these guys with bombs. It's the only way to be sure. Oh, okay. There's the secret room. There's always an out, I guess. Don't kill yourself with your own bomb. That would be pretty... Oh, what? I walked into the AIDS poop. I Apparently, I was killed by a troll head. In any case, that was a fun run. Thank you to Drew Chamberlain for the big-ass tears run. Never thought I would say thank you for big-ass tears, but hey. Things change. I guess I'm at a different point in my life than I thought I'd be at this point. In any case, continue suggesting your ideas for challenge runs. I will do the ones that I deem most, you know, apparent to me. Entertaining, appropriate, balanced, whatever, entertaining, who knows? Uh, continue suggesting them. I check a lot of the comments to find ones for uh, inspiration. But in any case, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.